Good evening, everyone. This is Miss Gail over here at Georgia Peace Nut. How's everybody doing? I'm tackling my uh, Irish potato bush here for you bet so you can see. Because you know it grows and then they flop over. They're not ready. So I have this pole here, tied some string to it, and I'm just wrapping it around, pulling it. Because when you let it go, this is what happens. See, it flops over. So we're going to put it back in. I was asked about this in another video, just getting around to doing it, doing an example, but I just take some twine and go all the way around, grabbing it and pulling it up with the twine as my finger is caught in here. And uh, you just pull the sides up and take the twine around it and you just keep pulling it up until you're satisfied with the height. You grab all the limbs that you need to grab, put it on it, put it in, put it in, and you just keep doing this until it's under control. Just keep wrapping it, you know, don't strangle it, but just wrap it so it will hold tight as it grows it may push against it because these vines are strong see i'm pulling this to make it tighten in the plant's going to still get its nutrition and you will still be able to walk past it without it sprawling all over the place so i've got it up to where i think i'm comfortable and it can still thrive. I'm going to take the string and wrap it kind of tight and then go up under there and pull it and go up under it again underneath it, under over it, however you want to pull it. Basically putting it into a knot several times to hold it. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna wrap it around the pole again. And this is a six foot, I believe. And take it under. Don't get the leaves in there and tighten it up. Wrap it. And then take it under. Cut it. And your um, vine is secure. I'm gonna tuck this little bit underneath just in case it decides to slip and voila. So now it's under control. That's how I do it. And you can take that idea and modify it. I'm sure you, you guys who are smarter than I am can come up with a better idea, but you I mean you can modify this into something better, but that gives you an idea of what's going on. Let's turn around here came out to check on the um, zucchini squash that we, we uh, planted the other day. Remember, we um, did the kale and clay. So what you want to do, we had a lot of rain since then. I have come out earlier I came out earlier and sprayed I checked all my leaves there were no uh, of course no squash bugs there was no um, signs of the vine bore so we, remember to shake this up every time you get ready to use it because it settles to the bottom this is the kale and clay you can get the other kind of spray, the continuous spray, 
but I keep buying those things and they don't work out for me for some reason. But you want to go, I'm sitting down, it's easier for me. Go behind the leaf, make sure you spray and cover each, the top side and the bottom side. Each leaf, this has a good coating on it. But I just wanted you to know, did I see how that, that looks real white? That's a good spray. And you want to spray the stems down below. I don't know why my uh, basil is getting sprayed. It doesn't need it, but it's in the way, so it's going to get a spraying. Down on all the stems. Ooh, the basil smells so good. We don't want to give her no place to lay her eggs. Backside. For the squash bug don't want to give her no place to lay her eggs go to all of them don't don't miss a leaf because they will find it trust me and, it, and just come out as often as you possibly can you can do every day, you can do every other day. And um, just check. I see some new leaves here. Let me make sure I get them. We don't want to miss anybody. So that's taken care of. I'll keep you posted on uh, the progress of how this pale and clay solution is working for the squash vine borer. And uh, the um, squash bug. We'll see. We're working out together. I'm just going to leave this here. And I know where to find it. It's time for me to put some more in here. Don't forget, I told you about the recall on the uh, arugula lettuce. It's in Publix. Get you some arugula seeds. If you like arugula, I do like arugula. So get you some arugula seeds. Go on ahead and drop them. Yes, you can drop them now. Okay, you guys. That's all I wanted to do. I will. Oh, let me tell you what I was out here doing. I have more pears on my pear tree than I realized. Well, I've covered one up. I got a lot of pears. And the plum cuculio is still active. But uh, this tree is loaded with pears. And uh, I'm covering her up. So I'm going to spray her with some, some of the spray. They're all up in there too. Anyhow, I have a lot more pears than I had last year. Thanks to the kale and clay. You just have to get out here and spray. And if I'd been on it like I should have been, but unfortunately... I hurt my back and when your back hurt you don't care about nothing much <laughs> trust me <laughs> that's why I say people do what you can do what you can look at here that's a beautiful sight y'all see the grapes just coming I'm gonna get out here and do some thinning but they are just so pretty all up under here yes and I want to shout out to uh, broke farmer yeah, thank you for putting that Japanese beetle trap out there. I appreciate you. I really appreciate you. Because <laughs> my uh, infestation has been on the minimum. I'm sure they went to your house. So thank you, darling. Appreciate you. I am going to spray some kale and clay on my grape leaves. Just in case he's taking his trap down and they decide they want to come this way. I'm about to put me some kale and clay on top. Just a thin, just a thin spray. You know, just enough to detour them. All right, you guys. I'm going to get out here and finish working and head on back into the house. Uh, I am going to plant some peanuts. That's another video. I've already planted some. I'll bring you along on this video as I plant some pe peanuts. Okay? Y'all take care, and I'll see you in the garden. Bye-bye.